Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show how you can show the sales value of best selling product. So if you remember from the last video if you have seen that I have shown you how you can find the name of the best selling product and show it in the table or matrix. Now as an extension to it I want to show the sales value that is associated with that product name. So that is something I want to show you and uh, before I go ahead and show that calculation just a quick information that this sheet the link of this sheet is present in the description. So you can go ahead and uh, click on this link and come over here and search or view all of my videos which I have posted previously and using the link which is in the column B you can jump onto that video. So you can search easily and uh, and based on your learning needs you can jump onto that video. Also, since it is a live sheet, my future videos will be present here so you can easily access any of the video anytime you need. So make sure you bookmark it and use it whenever you have any of your Power BI learning need. Okay, with that information, let me jump to the Power BI. All right, so this is what I had created last time, best selling product, which is the first non-bank top N and so on and so forth. Now I want to show you the uh, the basically the sales that is associated with this uh, with this best selling product. All right, and to do that, what I will going to do is I will going to create a new sorry not this one the new measure not the quick measure. So in the uh, in the measure we will say best selling product sales value right so once we have this what we need is basically max x function because it allows us to give the table an expression so for the table we will going to write the values and the values will be uh, related to the product name so we will write the product name just so that you know it takes only the product and then it finds the sales so we will write the sum of sales but sum of sales is not enough in this case it has to iterate through each of this basically selling product what we are specifying over here so we will going to specify the calculate function which will enable this and that way we can just simply close this and click ok so we have this and oh, all right let me select this best selling product sales value and we have the sales value that is associated with the uh, with those product name that we have specified over here so that is something you can achieve not just the best selling product but what is its sales value so that your table look complete and your end user needs are satisfied with your uh, with the output or with the value that you are looking for so with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic